I am so excited about this sewing machine. Even though I have been actually sitting on it for about six or seven months, I bought it when it was on a 20% off sale at my local Goodwill. I paid $32 because it was $39.99. This is a Singer 503A. It is part of the Rocketeer group. So excited about it because I have a double needle that I have been wanting to try out on a machine, but I couldn't figure out which machine I wanted to try it out on. And I think this is gonna be it. So hopefully with as good as this looks cosmetically, it just, it's absolutely stunning. Hopefully it fires right up. I haven't even plugged it in since I bought it. I brought it home and I put it out on a sewing machine table and there it has been sitting forever. So hopefully she fires up for me after a little light cleaning. So let's get started. All right, so this machine does not have a odor to it. So I'm suspecting that the undercarriage here is nice and clean but let's discover that together. Yeah, this one, not too bad, a little, little schmutz there. But maybe I'll go get my little hand vacuum and vacuum out whatever this stuff is. I did notice a little buildup here. Everything seems to be working just fine. Um, here, let me zoom in on that. Everything's moving real well, so I'm not gonna do a deep cleaning. We're just gonna fire it up and see how it goes. Okay, so just to make note of where the serial number is, it is along the bottom edge over here. I do have a, this engraved into my machine for some reason, I'm not sure what it means, but that's unique. Okay, real quick before I fire it up, I have a real loose plate. I'm not sure if there's a method to this madness to lock it into place yet. Uh, just first observations on this. And boy, have I, have I mentioned how much I love like the little drawings on the inside all of this, the cams, everything. It's just, it's stunning. Okay, for a visual reference, I did remove the cam that it came with and I actually have quite a few. And unlike some other of my machines that require cams, look how clean this is. Uh, there's maybe a little ring of dirt there, but holy crap. Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just not gonna clean it. It runs, it sounds real good so far. So we're just gonna fire it up and, and use it. Okay, last thing I'm gonna do today is plug it in and give it a test. See what we're dealing with. If all looks good. All right, uh, let's see. This is one of the little knob lights, light. And let me get my foot pedal in line. Make sure I have my dog feet set. This machine looks like it was either never used or really well taken care of and man it does have like a little bit of that um dust burn off smell like if you plug in like an old tv or something to play like a old super nintendo game like a, CT a crt tv kind of has that like weird dust smell <laughs> that's what this has right now i'm gonna see what we can do here as is so tomorrow, uh, we'll come back with a project and a test. Hi. Um, so it's been a little bit since I've actually had the chance to fiddle with this machine. Um, nothing against the machine, because I really do love it so far. 
and I'm really excited to share what I'm about to share with you. It just takes me a while to get this together, so there are now Christmas decorations in the background. Back to the video. So I'm going to try out a twin needle for the very first time on this machine, or ever. Um, I know I have one in my collection of random needles here, and I have a selection of threads, including one for the bobbin, and we'll go from there. First thing I'm going to do is actually refer to the manual, which you can get online easily. Normally I do a big project uh, with each machine that I have, but since it's Christmas time, I haven't had time to do much besides um, personal projects um, like this one. Normally I choose a coordinating year of the machine project to make on here. However, I do have one, but I can't share it right now. So that'll be for a future video or maybe just an Instagram post. So be sure to follow me there if you're interested to see the projects that I make with these machines. Previously, I had mentioned that this little plate does not like to stay in place. I think they are just bent a little strange or out of, something is wrong there. <laughs> uh, this is my resolution because it works. Long term, I'll figure out how to maybe adjust the little grabbers without being aggressive and breaking things, which is a, a typical thing for me. I don't know my own strength, but for right now, a bit of packing tape is gonna hold it right in place for me. So in case you were wondering, that was my current resolution. <laughs> and sometimes it's just like that. All right, just a quick overview here. Stitches per inch. So six, seven, you know, it's kind of adjustable. You can kind of get in there like at a, you know, eight and a half, something like that. And so I'm probably going to do, just leave it at the six. Boy, doesn't this thing just look good? It's a good looking machine. All right. So I have two spools here and I actually, when I first got it, I wondered what the heck that was about. Um, because I'm totally unfamiliar with sewing with a twin needle and it is such a great idea. I'm hoping everything turns out the way I envision it to. Okay, first things first, I went ahead and I removed my regular needle and I'm gonna go ahead and take this bad boy out. And just so you could see what it looks like if you've also, if this is new uncharted territory for you as well. All right. Okay, and this is what it looks like in. I do have, um, my needle all the way to the left. So that's what it looks like installed. So I got the first one in and I'm gonna go ahead and do the second one. Okay, so let me double check that you guys can see. All right, so I put the second one in and I'm just going to follow said path here. And I'm not going to lie, I'm probably going to speed some of this up because I'm an old lady with bad eyes. <laughs> actually, um, actually, I was a young lady with bad eyes, too. All right. And then we'll go through a separate coil on yeah, on the tension one. So, oh, we're a little stuck there from the last one. And there we go. Oh. All right. Let me trim off this little. There we go.
All right. The bun will be in the way now. All right. All right. Okay, let's get a close up on that. Okay. Two threads. Going to here, going to there, there, through different tension discs. And then in there, through there, and there, and there, and then through the needle. All right. Sorry about the dark fabric, but. It's a very <laughs> current scrap fabric. Hopefully it will show up. All right. The other small problem that I noticed with this machine was the fact that the power cord's a little loose at the plug-in. I'm not sure if there's a whole lot I can do about that besides just having a stable place for it to be plugged in at, but if you see it flicker a little bit, that's the reason why. Right off the bat, there's a lot of tails to deal with, but, but wow, look at that. That is a very cool. That's just a straight stitch. Okay, I just want to give a little refresher to those who are new to the cam slash fashion disc. That's what they're called on the machines, but uh, people call them cams because that's what they are. These are called the top hat ones. And this is from my model 603. I actually have this machine, a gold touch and sew. These are interchangeable. I haven't really played around with these too much. I'm going to just try the zigzag cam because I'm gonna do some edging on some napkins. And I think this will suit the recipients very well. Kind of modern-ish with a nice color variant. This is a simple, simple project if you are in a hurry to get something done. And I purposely chose a zigzag cam in here because you could, in theory, do this with a zigzag machine or if your machine has decorative built-in stitches, this is an idea. So I have just some blank white cotton napkins here, reusable napkins, which big fan of personally. So all I'm gonna do is stitch around the inside edge with a decorative stitch and voila, easy do. You'll see me kind of stop and kind of hand crank around the corners of the edges of the napkins. And normally I wouldn't do that. I, these older machines are so strong, but since this is my first time using a double twin needle situation, I, I only have one and I didn't want to break anything. So I just played it safe. This project probably took about 15, 20 minutes. I just wanted to add a little bit of color. I am gifting these with a vintage tablecloth with the colors that I used in the threads here, just to kind of break up that bright white. And like I said, you could do this with just a zigzag stitch, just to add a little bit of a personalized touch to it. Real simple, real easy and reusable. have to play around a little bit more to try decorative cams but this is exactly this will match exactly with a coordinating gif that I'm giving these two 
So a decorative stitch in this case wasn't the best plan, but just a little, a little zigzag touch is perfect. All right, so this was my little overview of the Singer 503A, part of the Rocketeer group. I really, really love this machine. I will definitely start using it on a weekly basis. I'm gonna set it into a table for easy storage, but um, I absolutely love everything about it. It is gorgeous. It is a power horse. I even will live with this little temporary tape job that I have here on this on the little face plate. Um, I look forward to giving a try to all of the decorative uh, stitches that I can use with the top hat camps and um, really, really love it. Really, really love it. I don't know why I slept on it so long. Highly, highly recommend picking one of these up if you uh, spot it out in the wild at a thrift store or tag sale whatever grab one if you see one great buy great machine and it's gorgeous thanks for watching and hanging in there with me for this really scattered video <laughs> and i'll uh, see you next time bye i probably should have took the sticker off when i first bought it <laughs> but, yeah uh, since january the sticker has been on there so Maybe my projects have been more built up than I realize. I just noticed the date on the sticker. It says January 27th, 2023. So I've been sitting on this for near a year. Whoops, sorry. Sorry guys.